Hi, this is John Leslie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Scrumbon in Fabro. I'll also be highlighting some of the new features from the All Teams expansion. As you probably know, Scrum and Kanban are the two most popular frameworks for implementing an agile way of working. Scrum is ideal for taking complex, uncertain ideas and empowering cross-functional teams to turn them into reality. On the other hand, Kanban, which originated in manufacturing, is perfect for teams working with a repeatable, well-defined process where the focus is on optimizing flow and maximizing throughput. As Agile teams mature, Scrumbon provides the best of both Scrum and Kanban. By evolving to a Scrumbon hybrid, they take the time to plan, do, and expect and adapt by maintaining the Scrum events and roles, while at the same time utilizing Kanban's defined stages, whip limits, cycle times, lead times, and cumulative flow diagrams to visualize and optimize the flow of value. We begin with the Scrum artifact, the product backlog. Here we have a product backlog for an example online reservation app. So this is exactly what this app is going to be. All of its capabilities or features broken down into epics, broken down into user stories. This particular view of the product backlog is new to the All Teams expansion. It's the sheet board view. You can toggle back and forth to just cards and the full sheets view at any time. In sheets view, you have the ability to do things like sort columns, and you can also add local custom fields on the fly. Here are some of the available options of field types you can create, and you can also add pre-existing fields. Once you have your product backlog fleshed out, the next step is to create your actual scrum bond board. I have one already created here. It's broken down into not just to do, doing, and done, but more specific stages. So we have our sprint backlog. Remember, this is Scrum Bond, not Kanban. And this would probably be filled during sprint planning. We have a development stage, deployed and test, QA review, product owner review, ready for production, and finally, deployed in production. So with the Scrum Bond board set up, let's see it in action. We'll commit a new user story to the board. Overview description. Hide the backlog. And we'll pull this card through the Scrum Bond flow. So first it'll be pulled into development. You can see here we're using whip limits to help control the flow based on capacity at each stage. Once development is done, it would be pulled into deployed in test. QA would eventually pull it in for a QA review. You can see it's automatically assigning the QA analyst at this particular stage. And this is done through Favreau's workflow rules. Once it passes QA review, it could then be pulled into a product owner review. You can see the product owner was automatically assigned at this stage. Once the product owner approves it, it would get pulled into ready for production and finally deployed in production. And you can see auto tagging also set up through the workflow rules. It automatically tagged it with the deployed tag. To further help with workflow visualization and flow optimization, there are other features built directly into the boards. You have the ability to show time on board, time in column, cycle time and lead time, like so. You also have the ability to show charts directly on the board, a burn down chart, cumulative flow charts, and control charts. And brand new to the All Teams expansion is a three way toggle on the board. Here we're looking at the Kanban view. We also have a Sheets view on the board, which is another way to visualize work in progress, as you can see here with these status fields. And there is now also a roadmap view with the ability to see cards that are on the same board on a timeline. This could further help with capacity planning or simply visualizing what's coming when. You can drag and drop things to change the time of the cards. And you can also adjust the actual time span of each one of the cards. Okay, there you have it. That's how you'd set up Scrumbon and Favro to see the benefits of both Scrum and Kanban in a single hybrid framework. Thanks, and good luck with Favreau.